One of the key artifacts of Agile is the idea of backlog. It all starts with a wish list of product improvements. But for that product to be successful, you need to transform that wish list into a clear plan. Without a plan, you won't know if you are on track. An official representation of the plan makes it easy to organize an update, which is why most Scrum and Kanban teams use a Scrum or a Kanban board. A Kanban board or a Scrum board is a tool that helps teams make sprint backlog items visible. The board can be physical, using whiteboard and stickers, or virtual, using different softwares. And in both cases, it performs the same function, regardless of how it looks. The type of board you use means everything to your productivity. It needs to be clean, quick to create, and easy to use. Making a complete board is a major asset in Agile, to bring total transparency. The transparency allows the other teams to follow the progress of the work of this team. Make updating and communication easier, and it also allows the team itself to avoid to be in a situation of confusion. For example, a developer will not take a ticket already processed by another team member. Having a Scrum or a Kanban board can be used to promote team interaction and discussion. During the day, you will see teammates, stakeholders, and members of other teams stop by the board for discussion. This increases greatly if the board is located near the team and highly visible. If your team is working with Scrum, then at a minimum, your Scrum board should be organized into four columns. The first one is the user story column. These are the user stories in the current sprint backlog. These backlog items are written as user experiences with your product. As a user, I want to do an action so that I can get a value. Then we have the to-do column, and this will have the tasks of the user story for which the work hasn't started yet. These are displayed as cards or sticky notes and include important details. In progress, subtasks that the team is currently working on, and then done, the completed subtasks removed from the board at the end of the sprint. A very good practice with Scrum Board is to use different colors or shapes to quickly locate information like task type and include details like owners or due date on the task for more transparency. More experienced Scrum teams might include a few extra details on their board, such as the impediments column, when a task is blocked because of external challenges. The sprint goal, which is sometimes helpful to begin with to keep planning tightly focused. Burn down charts, which represents how quickly the team is working through a customer's user story. Many other elements can be added also to the board, and of course, it depends on the needs of each team. Your Scrum Master might be the person in charge of setting up the board, but all team members should be able to access, manage, and update it. The first decision you want to take when you start thinking about the board is whether you want to go for a physical or a digital tool. Take into consideration whether you have a co-located team. In that case, maybe a physical board is best suited, and a digital one if your team is working remotely. In all cases, choosing one option or the other depends on the team's needs, strengths, and weaknesses. You have the choice between several online tools. The most used ones are Trello, Jira, Azure DevOps, Microsoft Team Planner, and you have Kanban Flow, Monday, Asana, and there is many more. You can start with Trello if you want as it is an easy and free tool, and it has quite a lot of functionalities that will help you start up with your team. Take time to play with it and adapt it to your needs. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that no matter what you choose, either go with a physical board or a digital one, 
These boards should be easily available for your team to access anytime without having to search around. And of course, keep them updated. And remember, a board is flexible enough to adapt to your agile practices as they change. Regular check-ins to the board might even mean you need fewer or shorter daily scrum meetings, and you get even more efficient. Thank you.